I mean, I think Grand Theft Auto 6 might be the game to save the games industry. That's the kind of feeling at this moment in time is um, I, the way I'm kind of thinking about it is, you know, that moment in Lord of the Rings, the two towers where Gandalf comes cresting over the top of the hill and the light shines down. I, there is that slight sensation around GTA in terms of what it means for the wider industry, because it's a phenomenon. It is not just a video game. It is a culture defining force. You know, this is uh, I mean, GTA 5. It's basically, if you look at things like the UK charts, it's basically been in the best-selling UK charts since it launched. It's still pretty much in there now. That's 11 years since that happened. You are talking about a game that has generated the best part of $10 billion uh, over the course of that lifespan. And again, it is just something that is so representative of what people think about in terms of video games that one, it is probably going to be an enormous hit and success because so many people want to go and play it. Two, it kind of has to be, you know, like this game, you know, reports around it indicate a budget that's probably close to about a billion dollars, which, you know, given the fact that Red Dead Redemption 2 was reportedly somewhere north of $500 million, it's certainly in that kind of territory. So this game has to be a big hit as well because it's just going to have to do that simply just to go and earn its way.